you're too young for this, kid. Get in. I don't think that's how Jesus died on the cross. Nice. All right, let's do this. That's cool. Mm -hmm. These are very organic shapes. Right. I remember thinking they're like very animal pattern-like. Remind then, me of caterpillars. Yeah, exactly. Man, that's a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. That's very pretty. And also like rivers and, and, and deltas and sort of like the way it shapes and forms. And funny enough, then of course, it is on an animal. <laughs> what do you know? She's staring at It's like an illustration. And... With animation. Wow. Kind of looks paper animated in a way. Also, it's interesting how like she's just a yeah. still image or before and then she's yeah. just blinking It's so consistent. Ah, the volumes are so nice. It's like uh, colored with pencils. Mm. This level of detail. Oh, this is it's nice with that like light so dog pretty. light and, like through mm -hmm. two doors and yeah. then the other door. It's like frame within really a nice. frame. Ooh. Oh god. His eyes are weird. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> He's normal, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Damn that eye. It's like unsettling but a very pretty unsettling. True, 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 true. I would have a stroke and a heart heart attack. At, at the, the same, same time. time, yeah. And this oh. thing also reminds me of like a moth or something. It looks like a like an actual a cocoon. A cocoon, yeah. yeah. So pretty. Yeah. This is a weird spin off to Arietti. I haven't seen that one yet. <gasps> really? It's really yeah. cute. Oh, hey, it's a weight change. That's a nice pose. <laughs> so much mm. attitude, but you don't really know what it's pointed at. Oh. Is this about like gods? The hair? Very pretty. No, oh, I wish I could animate like that. It's so yeah, no soft kidding. and graceful, and the lines are so nice. Those faces are so nice. Yeah. Everything is so clean, but creepy as well. Oh, that's creepy. Everybody just looks dead. There's something underlyingly unsettling about it, but it's like I think a it's very, very gorgeous unsettling. It's calming at the same time. I need to learn how to do hair animation. I Oof. never really care about it, just <laughs> do strokes and then... To be fair, your style isn't really this. Yeah. <laughs> They don't really blink. They stare very straight ahead. Their that eyes move very cool unnatural. It was too smooth for it sure, to be like but it natural. Cool. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm. I would love yeah. to see your art style with a beautiful hair flowing animation. Oh. So mischievous but gentle at the same time. Mm. Paparia yeah. is a 2020 short film made by Shingo Tamagawa. He was mm -hmm. closely associated with Studio Sunrise. Oh, the one that did Cowboy Bebop and was afraid that if he continued in the industry, he'd start to hate drawing. So he quit and animated Paparia, a three minute short that took three years to make. I'll yeah, you can see that, you can see that. A minute a year, if you think about it. It's such a long pen to start. And it's not mm. really easily readable because the background is so full of detail. Yeah, but so much like visual noise to it. I really like these textures and visuals. This film, I could describe in two films. Sleeping Beauty, backgrounds are so detailed. And the other one is Belladonna of Sadness. It's like maybe 80% just moving illustrations. Wow. But very detailed, yeah, oh, it's, wow. it's very, very minimal. That's cool. Like, I'd love to see what this thing looks like standing or what it looks like in motion. Yeah, oh, a box cycle of this would be really interesting yeah. to see. Sort of like here, like sometimes you just see it. You're too young for this, kid. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't watch it if you're... Why is it? Uh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> what are you watching in your free time? Well... Yeah, it's it's. Um, I don't think that's how Jesus died on the cross. What? It's not a religious oh, movie. <laughs> it's not <laughs> religious. It's, yeah, there are some beautiful animations. It's it's uh, similar to to this kind of style. One thing that the director of this plays with a lot is just direct eye contact to the camera. It makes you feel very bloßgestellt. It's like I mean, you are watching them, but they're also kind of watching you. This it's gorgeous, and also the line weight here. You can see that it moves like a pencil would. But it, it looks gorgeous for paper. I just can't get over the line quality. It's so clean but sketchy. The volume stays so consistent. Even the coloring and the shading. And these backgrounds have also something similar to Miyazaki backgrounds. Yes. Like things that people made, like this 
asshole and, and then you have nature taking over it. And it's just really beautiful. Although it's cluttered, it's harmonious. Like it works. I think the entire framing is very smart. Your eye kind of wanders around. Very smart. Probably also because composition wise, you have this slither and then the rest of the background is repetitive. And then you have these elements that stick out and it's very easy to read. It does help that the animation is reduced. Well, yeah. It's very nice animation, but it's very limited. Yeah. Like I think this is also like a, a loop, loop, but then like the rest of the creature, it doesn't have to move. Like even here, there's so much going on, but since it's such a slow zoom in, you're like, oh yeah, that's wood. This is marble and you have some nice tapestry. It's very atmospheric. There's a high level of detail everywhere and then there's almost nothing in the middle. It reminds me of depictions of Limbo. It's like traversing through something that doesn't change but you maybe change different stages. Uh, the artist manages to guide our eye towards mm -hmm. where he wants us to look. He uses a room in the middle that mm -hmm. doesn't have a light on to emphasize this door in the back. If this here was also light up it would look very cluttered and messy. A frame within a frame but even here the you still have the doors on the side. I also just really like this car. He looks very unnatural in a way. His center of gravity would be a bit too far. It seems like he might be off balance. The body is so nice. The way it moves, the line is so consistent. Like the coloring inside moves, but it just seems more alive. It looks like traditionally colored. The Even way the hair is done gives me a marker feel. I mean, you also see kind of like brush strokes or marker mm -hmm. strokes, but I don't mm -hmm. think it matters much because oh. I like how like smooth he made it look still. The animation is going from effortlessly perfect to just slightly uncanny all the time. Mm. It's very nice. But he yeah. also has a bit of a red yeah, in true. his eye, which is creepy. But it's so pretty. You have this one that's looking in this general direction, and this one is just there. It's very chameleon-like. Also, the other eye staring in a different direction is something that makes people very uncomfortable. If you look at the eye, the eye is in the very center looking at you. It's very unnerving. Look at this. How I detailed know, that's this gross. is. Like Ew. That. How long have you stared at an eye to get all of that shading, right? Mm -hmm. And then the thing comes. And this thing. It's nice with the moving background, too. It feels like it's yeah. just zooming towards us. But when it comes closer, it gets more and more fisheye distorted. But also the symmetry is insane. Mm -hmm. Is this yes, the perfection true. he was talking about? Yeah, I mean, especially because this is done on paper. On Photoshop, you can just enable symmetry. Yeah. But here, you did it on paper. Also, that, ooh, that's the cool. highlight. Oh, yeah, really oh, pretty. the. That is cool. It gives the eye such a like bulging feeling. Instead yeah, no, of just it gives the three dimensionality. But also, the movements are so, so, so nice. Here, it is very flat and empty, and there are places of interest. Even the hair, there's a lot of strands, but it's mm. a big shape and it's just colored in, and it looks really, really nice. This is a nice weight shift. Thing that's important is you can't move your foot without doing a weight shift. So, weight shifts are kind of important to know how to animate them. And what's important is that you know the hierarchy in which limbs move. I think it's the hip that goes first here. So the hip is moving over and it's taking the rest of the body with it. And it gives this nice curve. Also oh, hip is stood up. Yeah, and then you also have the curved straight. So much attitude too, because it's kind of going down. It's very mm -hmm. regal. But also this character is really cool. And I really like their hair. God, their hair is so nice. How it like goes out and then mm -hmm. this thing mm -hmm. moves and waves. Sometimes you just see the eyes moving. Which is creepy. All of this part moves. You can kind of see the mask. The way, same way on Photoshop, you would have the two layers erase the part you want and kind of try to blend it in together. It has the same effect right then. It's impossible to just move one part and then not move the other. So for example, if I blink, my other eyes is gonna twitch at least a little bit. In anime, we're much more forgiving to things like this. There's a bigger suspension of disbelief. But because this is so hyper-realistic, it makes it more uncanny. They really have the open eyes of Doom. Ooh. But it doesn't look as creepy on this character as it does on humans. Because yeah, it's a creature? Yeah, so you know it's not really a human, but mm -hmm. these are more human looking. Mm -hmm. And so you're like, ooh. Animating zooms is also hard because you gotta stay consistent and people will know. Because uh. <laughs> like yeah. digitally, you can just draw it bigger and then zoom in. If you do it on paper, you need to draw the image bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And that's hard. Hair animation, again, beautiful. Yeah, it looks like a big cat, but human also. Mm. I guess because of the noise. <laughs> the nose. <laughs> noise. <laughs> <laughs> so quick. Mm. How the eyes just dart over. It's usually also when your eyes move a lot, they will blink. But this is very impressive. Yeah, the camera turn. Oh, and also how did, oh my gosh, the three dimensionality. I think one of the reasons why it seems so supernatural is because the hair is obviously not moved by wind. You subconsciously notice that. So when they turn, it's just a floating mm. weightlessness. It's like in space, I guess that's what hair would look like. It's beautiful. 
Did you get the story? <laughs> I, d I think it's more to evoke a mood. Really nice, that smirk is... Yeah, it's a very lovely acting. smile. Good character acting. It's, it's a very lovely smile. Thank you for your acting. No worries. Thank you.